this is what is commonly referred to as a tiny whoop. Um, we in the community, uh, a lot of us build them. There are ones that you can buy uh, right off of the shelf uh, and fly. And with these, we're able to put on a set of goggles on the camera that's on the front of the drone. Uh, it broadcasts a video signal that we can then pick up with our goggles um, that we see. So it's like you're flying within the drone. Um, and that allows us to fly through small places, through gates, um, and through a course, uh, and then in the end determine who's the fastest tiny whoop racer. So it's a really exciting, uh, growing sport, and, uh, and we're, we're proud to be able to bring it to the museum and to the masses of the people who, uh, who come to enjoy it. We are at the uh, National Museum of the United States Air Force for the third year in a row. Um, this is a culmination of a lot of minds and a lot of experiences and things like that. And we're excited to host 48 pilots this year, uh, up from eight the first year and up 28 from last year. We really enjoy the amount of support that we get from the museum on this event and it's been absolutely fantastic. We're really excited to be here this year. Our main event will be located in the second building, right here in the middle underneath of the American flag and the projector screen. Uh, you can't miss it. And then additionally, the museum this year has decided to put some additional interactive things to do back in the fourth building. A great way to make your way through the museum. You get to see everything that there is uh, on the way and stop in those buildings as well. There's plenty laid out in the place for everybody. Uh, we won't all be in one close spot um, and there's plenty to do for all ages really. I did come here when I was younger um, and spent a lot of the time sitting in some of these aircraft. Um, and then fast forward to now, I, I had a dream about having a drone race inside of the museum. Um, and I saw some other places had had similar races. And um, so I just came out and, and asked the museum if they would be okay with allowing me to do it. And they raised some eyebrows and held the drone and were like, let's see what happens. And, uh, and so here we are three years later. Here we go. Yeah. Your winner, round number one, Good evening, Potato. Yeah.